Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy with Acme Packs, and I welcome each and every one of you back for a new retail review of the new 2023-24 Panini Prism Mega Boxes. These are the Target exclusive version, and they just dropped a few days ago, so let's rip them open, see what we have. Let's get into it. So coming in at about $60 a box are the new 2023-24 Prism Mega Boxes. These have been out at Walmart for a while, but just dropped on Target's website. These sold out very quickly and they've dropped a few times and each time have sold out within minutes. So we are lucky enough to be able to do three of these today. And Prism for basketball has been, you know, iffy in years past. This year, it's like like football in regards to CJ Stroud, you have a guy to chase that doesn't have autos anywhere else, Victor Wembanyama. So that makes these an absolute must buy right now. Even the Prism base is going for about $80. If you gem that in a Prism 10 or in a uh, PSA 10, that comes out to about a $300 card. And then you do have big, big hitters in this with the red cracked ice. I'll have to double check what those are going for. Um, the Walmart exclusive cracked ice at one point was going for about 500. If you gem that, you're probably looking at uh, just north north of a thousand dollars. Wemby's silvers are still going for quite a bit as well. And then you do have the teal ices in here, numbered to 225. And if you hit that, you're looking at a $2,500 payday. So pretty cool. You do have the red ice and the glitter in here as well. I don't know what the glitter looks like. I haven't seen any of those hit yet. Um, let me know what you guys think if you've seen them yet. But let's get into it. We got three of them today. Let's see what we can hit. Prism has been a awesome buy for both football and for basketball this year because of CJ Stroud and Wembenyama. So the mega boxes are hot. This is going to be a really good year to hold Prism and to rip it because these are probably going to be pretty collectible in the next few years, especially with how good Wembenyama is playing right now. I mean, he is, he is, he's going to win MVP eventually. It, it might take him a little bit, but he will. He is doing things as a rookie that no one else has done well in a very long time okay so we have our first silver here you can get autos in here as well um got a noah Clowney on the base a men thompson there and a silver raptors it's going to be og and our red is going to be charles barkley and um alexander walker on the red craft dice so um, Sonogo and Kenyon Martin there. So, first pack. Two red cracked ices. Um, we had a silver. And also, like, two rookies in there as well. So, got a high chance to hit Wemby. Um, definitely going to be short print compared to a lot of the guys. I mean, Panini tends to do that with the stars. We got Gigi Jackson. Not too bad there at all. Um, I'll sleeve him up. There we go. An emergent uh, Wemby. I don't know what those are going for, but we'll check that out. Um, you got Walker Kessler on the silver and Karis Levert. You get four silvers per box. Uh, we got Ricky Council, the fourth, and Peyton Watson there. So, sleeve you guys up. This is just a base emergent. I don't like that they don't have the rookie logo there, but whatever. Gigi also looks very good. Not a Wemby status, but still good. Security tag. That means this pack must be good, right? So, three of these today. Try to get through them fairly quickly while still enjoying the rip. Um, I do I do still want to... Oh, Nick Smith. Um, I still want to enjoy my rips, obviously, as well as get through them as fast as possible for you guys. Um, instant impact of Jordan Hawkins there. And a Jaden Ivey, year two, on the red cracked ice. Oh, we got three cracked ices. Oh my, that's huge. Whoa. So I only saw one of these up and it was for $800. So this 100% paid for the whole rip here. Um, wow. That is pretty well centered too. It looks like it's a little right heavy, but man, that is, <laughs> uh, I'm getting crushed by Hobby, but man, retail has been good to me this year. That is a huge card. 
Oh my. Victor Wembenyama on the red cracked ice. We can just stop it there. <laughs> We're not going to do much better than that. That is huge. All right, let, let's move on. That is a massive card. Definitely what, probably one of my biggest hits of the year. That is a terrible, terrible miscut there. Wow. Um, yeah, that's got to be one of my biggest hits of the year, easily. That is a massive card. Love to see that. Okay. Got a silver in here now. Maxwell Lewis on the rookie. We got a Jet Howard on the rookie. Uh, Austin Reeves, Thunder. It's going to be me. Misic <laughs> on the silver. Um, forgive me. I know my basketball knowledge is not as good as everyone else's. We got a Chris Murray there on the green emergent. Those are non-numbered. Um, and Kelly Oubre there. But you know what? It is a true rookie silver. We will take it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so now we can just have fun with the last two boxes because made our money back. Hopefully we can hit some other cool stuff in here. Okay. We got Marcus Sasser, who's actually having a pretty solid season. Uh, we got Luca there. We got a Jabari Smith on the silver year two. Kaminga having a great season himself. Another spur that's going to be Manu Ginobili. Holmes and Max Struess there. And last pack out of the first box. Man. Love it. Love it, love it. So yeah, these are definitely a must-buy. Obviously, not everyone is going to be able to be lucky enough to hit the Wemby Cracked Ice. But again, you got to take the chance. Uh, we got Champ um, Champagny and RJ Barrett there. Then Powell and Steven Adams. I, Yeah, definitely take the chance. I mean, if you can find them, these are near impossible to find right now it's kind of nuts um what these are going for on the secondary market too but yeah they've been very tough to find they are probably the hottest product out there right now Man, i can okay and this is also why i'm buying retail basketball prism over like hobby prism i have seen so many people get absolutely dusted on hobby prism it just seems so much easier to hit out of retail right now but when you hit you hit big uh there's an amen thompson not too bad there we'll sleeve that up um scoot henderson on the instant impact gonna have a deandre ayton shaquille o'neal and uh dort there um oscar i'm not even gonna try his last name and Marcus Noel, there. There we go. Awesome. Again, I'm not an I'm not a basketball expert. I am still learning this class. Um, I know like you know the top of the top guys, but still learning here. Okay, Kenny Lofton, got Naji, Clay Thompson, Joel Embiid. We're gonna have a Cade and a Silver of Isaiah Wong. Now that's interesting. This one has like an actual picture behind him, but the other one was just kind of, ooh, ooh, that's a beauty. Jaime Jaquez on the red color match, red cracked ice. That is a beautiful looking card. Whew. Two nice hits. That one is more centered than the Wemby is. We're gonna top load that one as well. He's kind of falling off just a little bit. He was having a crazy good season to start, but definitely uh, not bad at all there. We will take that. One of the guys you're still looking for, obviously. And Joe Ingles there. Destroying that pack. I would love to see a teal. Ooh, we might have an auto here. Or maybe the teals are backwards. I don't know. Let's see. We got a Jalen Pickett on the rookie there. Giannis. Oh, this is a teal. It's going to be a PG-13. 47 out of 225 on the teal. Beautiful. We'll take it. We will take it. Uh, we got Hakeem Olajuwon. 
Markel Fultz on the silver. Robert Williams on the red cracked ice. But nice. Paul George on the teal. That is to 225. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, Panini did change the way that they do their numbering. It's not like stamped anymore. It's more raised now. It's really, really strange. I don't know. What do you guys think of it? That, I don't know. It's a different font. It's raised. It's not like stamped on. I don't know how to feel about it. Okay. Awesome. So pretty good. Two boxes. We are crushing it. Again, this is not going to be everyone's experience, but so far so good. Now I do believe these are from the first wave of Prism and take it as you guys will. I know a lot of people out there believe that, um, the first wave of products going to have a uh, hood Shafino for the Lakers there and Malachi Branham. A lot of people believe that the uh, first wave of any retail product is always a little bit more loaded than, you know, the second, third waves because, you know, Panini wants to generate hype, wants to get people to buy their products coming up. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I will be honest, though. I feel like there's another Jaime Jaquez on the base rookie. Um, I will feel, I do feel like I absolutely do better on the first wave products. Got a Jason Williams, some white chocolate, and Josh Green. Okay. But, again, tinfoil hat there. I... Speaking from personal experience, I feel like I've always done better on products when I get, you know, that first wave of it coming out. Put Shafino again on the rookie. Another Jason Williams. We got an OG on the red, a silver, shade and sharp, and then a Victor Oladipo. All right. So another solid box there. Let's finish it off with a good one. Even though we can't, we can't beat that first box. <laughs> we, we just can't. Unless there is a Wembenyama silver or teal in this box, there's no way. Okay. What? Let's see what we got. Ooh. Just flung the cards out. Amateur out over here. I'm fumbling all over everything. We got Kobe Bufkin on the rookie there. We got Paul George again. And, uh, Noah Clowney. Our silver is going to be Johnny Davis. Clay Thompson on the red and Dante DiVincenzo. Um, Alexandra, Alexander uh, Vesnikov on the rookie. And Cam Reddish. I like Luca's picture in this. Uh, we got a Drace Walker. Not too bad. Brandon Miller on the instant impact. Second best guy you're looking for, definitely there. We got a big Brandon Miller. I wouldn't be upset either. But we'll sleep those up as well. Okay. But yeah. Prism for basketball, exactly like Prism for football. You got one guy you're looking for that doesn't have autos and Panini products. And, you know, CJ Stroud for football. You got Wemby for basketball. The only difference is I think Wemby could be a generational talent. It's, I mean, I'm again, I'm not a basketball expert. I'm not going to tell you guys who you should be um, investing in or anything. We got Jalen Pickett for the Nuggets, I believe. Yes, Nuggets. Um, Grant Williams and Bull Bull there. But, I mean, Wemby just looks so good. He just looks so good. Both on the offensive and on the defensive side. He continues to just, you know, get better and grow with the game. He is, in fact, a generational talent. We got Seth Lundy, Ray Allen. Got Johnny Davis, an emergent silver of Jordan Hawkins. Thunder, um, Usman Dang on the silver there. Seth Curry. 
So no base Wemby's though, but even a base Wemby will make you your money back in this. And you do seem to get a fair amount of rookies in here. So can definitely give these the AP seal of approval. Definitely a very good product. Um, not because of, you know, any new additions or anything from Panini, but just the draft class in general and the way things have fallen. Uh, Anthony Black, we have a silver of Devin Vassell. Um, Devin Vassell again, and then a Julian Phillips on the color match for the Bulls. And last pack coming up. Let's see what we have. Got Bates on the rookie. Uh, there's another Wemby on the global reach. And with the France flag in the back. I like that. That's cool. Um, Bam out of bio. We got a James Naji, Wrong Hornet there, unfortunately. A Malik Beasley. And Jaden McDaniels there. So that is going to do it for this one. Let's go over our hits quick. We we had two very good boxes. And then one probably more average box of what you can expect. So the more average box, I mean, we hit, we got the Victor um, Global Reach, James Naji there, Julian Phillips on the color match. Um, our second box was pretty good with the, um, where was it? Um, the Jaime Jaquez and then the Paul George out of 225 as the teal. And then our first box had the Victor Wembenyama red. So... First box was definitely the best because we got the Wemby red. Second box was definitely way above average with a good player in the red and then also out of 225. The last box was definitely more of a average box for sure. And what you can probably expect if you guys are looking to pick one of these up with the hopes that your box is like my um, first or second box. But that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.